Here we have the Epiphyllum guatemalensis. This is a tropical cactus. Yes, I said tropical cactus. There are lots of, we usually when we think of cactus, we think of desert cactus, but this one does actually grow uh, as a tropical plant. It also fruits, uh, so it will bloom and fruit these nice little red fruits in, in really nice conditions. It's kind of a fun fact, and they are ed edible, so that's kind of neat as well. But let's get into the care instructions for when you're keeping it as a house plant. The very first thing you're going to need to know is it needs bright light. Okay, uh, and an east window is fantastic. It's not going to burn in an east window. We want to avoid that really hot afternoon sun that is usually found in south or west facing windows. Now, it's fine to put it near a south or west facing window, but I wouldn't put it in the windowsill. So, if you know you have a really hot window, back it up a couple of feet and adjust as you see new growth, okay? As far as watering goes, we water when they're about 25% dry, and we do this year-round, okay? It is a tropical cactus. It likes to have some moisture down in its roots at all times, but it doesn't want to be swimming in water all the time, okay? So that's why we let it dry out a good 25% between watering. Remember, again, it is a, uh, a tropical cactus, so that's why they do like a little bit more moisture than some of the other cacti you might be used to. As far as repotting goes, we repot this plant every couple of years uh, or uh, when the roots start coming out of the bottom drainage system. I do want to point out that these plants do tend to bloom best when they are root bound. For that reason, many growers will leave them in their same pot for several years at a time, five, ten years at a time, because they find when the plant is really root bound, that's when it blooms the most. That's when it's putting on its best show. So if you really want it to take off in that department, maybe don't repot it, maybe let it get root bound uh, for quite longer. Now when you do repot it, the soil recipe is three parts houseplant soil. Now again, that's your moisture retention layer. And then you're gonna mix that in with something that drains quite well and provides some air to the roots as well. I like to use an orchid bark or something else really chunky like cocoa chips. Uh, even perlite is really good as well. So that's a three to one ratio of three parts moisture retention coming from your houseplant soil. And then one part drainage slash aeration, which is gonna come from your perlite, your orchid bark, or your uh, cocoa chips, whatever you have on hand. Pumice stone also works really, really well. As far as fertilizing goes, we use a 10-10-10 liquid soluble fertilizer. You can also use a granule fertilizer as well. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but we do that throughout the growing season, which is spring through summer months. But that's going to do it for the care instructions for the Epi Epiphyllum guatemalensis. If you have any questions about this curly, kind of funky friend, let me know in the comments below.